Hi guys, for today's video, we're going to be playing Trimmer Top Lane, and we're going to be playing full Lethality Trimmer, making use of the new Lethality items that are now here on the live server. Now, we're against a Cloth for Tank Orn, but we took Hell Blades for later in the game for the, uh, for the fact that we can get uh, the basically instant kills on multiple people because i plan on basically one to two autoing the majority of their team with uh the new lethality items so let's see how that works here uh gotta watch that a little bit now i did take uh if you notice i don't have the best runes for laning i took full on scaling runes as far as like taking the stuff like transcendence and things like that no second win so no resolve runes or anything like that just full on scaling. So keep that in mind. Like as you as you see me laning, I might be taking a lot more damage than you probably used to see me taking with a lot less regen, but it'll end up working out. <laughs> oh no triumph either. Oh god. Oh Jesus. Okay, we're good. Yeah, I got remember I got no triumph with this, so um uh, I'll take it as is. So we took a short trip before Hellblades came back up. Hellblades came back and just flash on dude with ignite and uh burst him out. So here's what I'm thinking with the um with the kind of lethality setup. I'm thinking we can go into a couple items. Uh, we could have gone Dust Blade, could have gone Yomas. Dust Blade is good because I kill somebody and then I become untargetable. For 1.5 seconds. But I was thinking, you know, this like the Night Stalker, your ability is dealing additional 15% damage. That's like just her spin, right? I was thinking Yomu's giving us literally just more lethality, more attack damage. Would you just infinitely more for us? So that's what we're gonna be doing for, for this game. Now, obviously, lethality doesn't do a whole lot. I mean, this guy's already got a bramble vest, he's building uh Full tank horn. Oh, how wonderful. Don't we just have so much fun playing against full tank anything, actually? Woo! That guy almost actually got me with the E. So, just barely dodged on the game. Good thing I put the ward up then. You know, my spidey senses were, uh, were tingling there. So, just gonna let this guy shove in. I can't trade into him into that many minions. And I remember, like, on my runes, I took Gathering Storm, I took Transcendence. Um, they have got Ingenious Hunter for, for item haste for my Yomus and, and my eventual Prowler's Claw, which, by the way, look at this item. After dashing, your next attack does bonus damage, uh, increasing with our bonus AD and slows them. Seems pretty freaking good for Lethality Trin, right? So, that's kind of the idea of what we're going for there. Follow my blade. Nice. So, 31-25, and begin all those minions. I think what we do here is we kind of just slow push this into a reset. It's going to be it's, it's gonna be pretty fast, so we won't be able to just, like, one-shot Warren. Right? And we can take a couple small trades. Short trades, though, are kind of Orn specialty. He's got the armor to kind of counter us. Um, oh, we do have a Diana coming up. Maybe we can bait him to Ying in. I'm almost all six. Oh no. Nice. Diana Bliven, let's go. So, 8 seconds on Orn respawn. I don't believe he has TP. I think he TP'd after his first death. So, I'm just gonna use my Q and then hit these three range minions so I don't accidentally crit, mess them up. Then anyway, I can rebuild Fury. I'm just gonna hit this. I'm gonna wait, let my minions kind of whittle these down so I don't actually mess them up. I'm gonna take one more point and then I'm gonna reset. This guy's only level 5, so he's not gonna be able to, like, ult and catch me out. With like Udyr coming up or anything like that, so we'll be good to go. And dang, we are almost at our Yomus. 
So I think what we're gonna do here, we're gonna build Warhammers. Oh, wait, we got a Fizz. Oh, I didn't dodge it. No! They both lived one HP, are you serious? Oh, whatever. The Orn hit six, I don't even know, like, he had six from a minion dying like back here or something. Dang, that was so close. So freaking close to just absolutely annihilating him. <laughs> okay, let me just build a Sheen. So I'm thinking Yomu's Sheen, and we can build this into like an SM Trever or something with like full lethality setup. We can just sit on the Sheen for now. I mean, an additional 80 physical damage on our short trades can be pretty nice. Got just ran my gold for it. Otherwise, we could have also built like double long sword going to our prowler's claw. I like SMT ran like a one shot lethality train build though. Train mirror obviously just well crit. And SMT gives us a spell blade for the uh, one shot combinations. Our team's really squishy aside from the um, full tank I'm up against. So I feel like as soon as we got a landing phase, we're gonna be in a very good spot. That guy probably should have waited first thing to come up. Oh! Come on! Let's go! Oh, it was very close. So he had ult right there and I didn't, so I had to flash his ult in order to make that play happen, and we did. So even with the Orin Bull- oh no. Help. Help! There's the mean man bear pig! Nice. Okay. Hecarim was on the, uh... Hecarim was on the rift right there. Okay, he wants me to take rift? Yeah, don't mind if I do. I want to take the Rift Herald. Because I was going back, I could have used that. Actually, I need to stay. I don't want to miss out on a wave of minions. So, by the way, if you're the jungler and you want to set up your top laner, like you gotta carry a top, you're, you know, they're playing like Jax, Trinimir, uh, Camille, uh, Renekton, you know, stuff like that. Stuff that can like really snowball. You want to set them up, let them take the solo gold from that. Or, you know, maybe even let them take the last hit and the top winner will get the bonus gold. Into battle. Let's see. Why is Natch not showing up any of the mythics? So let's do this and let's build into our Prowler's Claw. This item is insane. So basically, I'm going to spin on somebody. I'm going to apply my Prowler's Claw on that first auto. It's going to slow them so my other Hell Blades autos are basically going to be able to land before they get out of range. Unless they have a dash like Fizz. Everyone else on their team is going to get kind of... Um, yo, this Orn is not respecting. Do you have a plant? He doesn't. Oh, no, he did. Later! Because he has Bramble, by the way, that's how he took turret aggro because um i autoed him and his bramble vest dealt damage back to me which made him take turret aggro and then he just died so yeah he literally just died for the plate actually did he even get the plate or did he just get demolished probably either way i'm not sure so if you haven't read yomu's new um passive basically yomu's you gain your Spectral Shards, which you see my buff bar. And I will be gaining 8 to 20 Lethality on top of the 18 Lethality that this item has already given me. And damage. And of course, I got the Yomu's uh, Brock here. 
which will I, I activate it and gives me move speed, so I don't even need to build boots. I'm gaining 40 out of moose 40 moose speed out of combat. And I'm gonna be gaining moose speed when I activate my Yomus, 25%, which is like a little bit more than tier two boots. So I literally don't even need to build boots, I could just build full on damage. Full on one shot capability. And I basically have the speed of tier two boots with just the Yomus. So this item is great. Oh, they're, they're sending Fizz? <laughs> they're sending the guy with full armor up against the Diana. And they're sending the guy with no armor up against me. Okay. Yeah, that doesn't look very fun for Fizz, does it? I almost one-shot him, by the way. If I had any fury and I, like, crit him, he would just die. He's just dead if I auto him, by the way. <laughs> he didn't think that one through, did he? <laughs> Yeah, I was about to say, like, he's just dead if he cues on me. He's, uh, he can't do anything. My first trade was just so ridiculous that he's just dead. So, there's that. Oh, let me shove this in. Alright, um, I'm just gonna max spin. You can max R2. Maxing spin gives me a little bit more damage from now. Um, let's see. Can we kill Uder? Oh my god, dude. Okay, the Uder's pretty fast. He's got a ghost on. Uh, we get to go back here. If we had Prowler's Claw right there, we kill him. So we need to go back and buy a Prowler's Claw. That'll solve any issues of being kited, to be honest. So now we got the Yomus and stuff, so we're good to go. So let's get Prowler's Claw and let's get a uh, crit here because we're going to be going into Essence Chamber. So we're getting a lot of ability haste from these items, by the way. So with our Essence Chamber, with our Yomus, with our Prowler's Claw. So we're going to be spinning all over the place and we're going to be dealing tons of damage. I think Twitch got a few of the kills. He's got oh the rage blade Twitch. Oh, that sounds scary. If I hit him with, he's got a shark. Mm, I might be able to catch him still. You know, the, the Prowlers is pretty good, right? I mean, this guy's got tier 2 boots. I I, 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 you know, I have no boots, but I'm like... I was able to stick on them because of all the freaking... Uh, ability haste and, and the, the Yomu's move speed, the out-of-combat move speed, all that. And I hit that Prowlers on him, I get my full hail blades, and yeah, Fizz just dead. So, let's see. Once I get my Essence Hero, it's going to add in bonus AD on that Spellblade proc for scaling, and it's going to be insane. So I think I'll probably max out R after. So this guy... No way, he just does this, right? Okay, that Fizz literally got one shot, by the way. Literally one shot Fizz. Just... Like, if I get crit, say he's just dead, right? No way that hit me. Okay. Twitch didn't think that went through. It's not AP Twitch. Well, maybe has got a little bit of AP, I guess, but... Right, so, right here, we're gonna get... Oh, we need 200 gold for Essence Weaver. Let's take Rift. I should be able to take Rift, even with very low HP, because it's going to, like... I'm going to be able to build Fury. Yeah, I'm going to be able to build enough Fury and just survive with the Q. Nice. You see, I got 200 gold because I got blasted there, which is perfect amount of gold name from Essence Trader, and we're doing big time damage right now. 
So we upgraded from like what 100 damage from Sheen into 210 damage, which uh, is going to go up as we lose more HP too. Man, I, I wanna I wanna spin and try to one shot like Lux. Honestly, we can probably one shot Udyr. He doesn't have any armor. He literally just has HP, and uh, I can kind of just shred through him there. I'm on the hunt. Oh yeah, Prowlers is pretty dang good, huh? <laughs> Got a few kills there. Uh, what, what, oh. was that two, uh, was that two autos on Twitch and he's just dead? Yeah. Two autos on Twitch, he's just dead. Uh, let's see, uh, Assassin, right? Um, let's go Collector. Yeah. Get us a little bit more crits. Only shameful thing about the lethality trend is that we no longer can build Infinity Edge. But I think the Yomu's is really nice to just build, makes makes this so we don't have to build boots. And we still get the move speed to stick on the people. New Prowlers makes this so we get the slow. Um, let's go push out bottom. We have Rift. We have Fast Retriever. We do 613 damage to one out of the turret. 388 attack damage. Absolutely insane. Uh, okay, so we just got 300 gold here. Let's go ahead and get 600 gold from this turret. We are so rich. I didn't even need Rift to take out that turret. <laughs> the, it looks like a BM Ignite, but it was like... It was actually like pretty tactful. I killed him mid E. Because he was trying to delay his E to land right after my ult ended, but then he just died midair. Wait, we're still going, by the way. Oh. Wait, we saved him. Uh oh. Wait, hold on. They got Twitch up. And I'm out. <laughs> Dude, is Twitch gonna come? <laughs> okay, I'm dying for that, but that was so funny. That was so worth. I knew I was going to die for that, but that was so worth. We just two shot the Twitch. <laughs> oh, that was great. I don't care about getting the 1k gold at Udyr. Um, let's see. At this point, we've got... 1, 2, 3 lethality items. So that's 36, 51 lethality. Um, and it's going to be 71 lethality when we're max level. Maybe it's better right now that we build Sorilda. Or maybe, like, Lord Doms or something. I mean, both these items could be very good. Let's just build, uh, let's build... Maybe we just build more Lethality, too. Screw it. Are we already doing true damage to Twitch? If we're coming in with, what, 76 Lethality? So, he has 100 armor. But he's got a Seekers. So that's 30 extra armor. Oh! <laughs> My Collector! Oh, it's his Flash too. He just can't get away from me. I'm too sticky. Got 73 ability haste, by the way. It's pretty good. 42% cooldown. Around. I just did 1100 damage to that, that minion. Holy moly. I got a W. Nice. 
Let's do Baron, and then we could maybe set up an end off that. You know, I have not seen Lux. Like, Lux has not appeared on my screen. At all this game. Except for, like, up here. I need to see my damage on the Lux. I guess we saw, we kind of see my, my maximum damage on the Twitch since he has no armor. But we gotta kill the Lux, too. My damage is absolutely insane. I have 499 attack damage right now. Now it's over 500. Holy moly. So let's get maybe a little bit of armor pen. So it's all the same on armor pen. But this gives me my 100% crit. So let's build Lord Doms just so we can get the 100% crit. And then we can build one more lethality item. So last lethality item I want to get. Maybe Axiomark Serpents. They've, I guess they have shields coming from Udyr and Lux. So we can go Serpents. Oh my. Did you see that one auto to Fizz? Holy. Got the Collector Execute. My spin's only a four second cooldown. Oh, Lux, you need to die. Okay, Hecarim's got him. Lux has too much range. I think I need Flash in order to get on Lux. Uh, okay, Fizz Life. Let's just go here. I don't want to give... Like, we're, we're a walking triple kill for Fizz with me having no ult. Okay, yeah, they're just going to clear this. So, let's get this dragon. And then maybe we can step in it. Maybe we group top. Uh, group top after drag. Nice. Um. Oh, I need. I need fifty gold. The enemy's inhibitor is respawning soon. Ah. So let's get Lord Dumbs. We're gonna have hundred percent crit. Any champion that has higher, greater max HP than me is gonna take more damage. Which I don't have any HP items. So even something like Fizz, um, well, actually, no, Fizz is too low level. I'm three levels above him. Like, definitely Orn, definitely uh, Udyr. I'm going to be doing a lot of bonus damage, too. Was that my auto? Was that just... I don't think I autoed the Fizz yet. That was just my spin. That dealt massive damage. Yeah, I think my crit auto with Prowlers... And my SM Trever does like 1600 damage or something. Like, and it's gonna be like nearly true damage because of all the like lethality and armor pen I have. 820. Oh. I'm four shotting these turrets. Uh, enemy team? I mean, let's just keep going. They ain't defending, let's keep going. Are they all in base? Oh, they're there. I wanna I wanna get one last fight in. I wanna see the damage. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> Dude, it's all dying! Alright, let's get the Lux. Boom! Wait, oh, Twitch died already? No fun. Oh my god, the frickin' damage. Almost a penta. I think Twitch died inadvertently to some damage. And I'm trying to get my S plus here, so I'm gonna get these minions real quick. And I don't mind if I do. And uh, there we go. Akram wants me in the picture. And eh, I'm lucky. Alright guys, hope you guys enjoyed this lethality trend video. Thanks so much for watching. And make sure to drop a like, subscribe to the video. And if you guys want to see more trend mirror gameplay, make sure to check me out live on my stream twitch.tv slash fogged fdw2 i also offer coaching if you want a personal coaching with me one-on-one -on -one, it's 75 dollars for a vod review 150 dollars for a two-hour coaching all you got to do 
type exclamation mark coaching in my Twitch chat on my stream, and you'll get all the info there, or you can send me a message directly on Discord. Thank you guys for watching, and have a wonderful day. Bye for now.